lag and i was like what ah i was i was i wasn't even having it hey babies welcome back to my youtube channel i'm miss chisel so in case you do not know me no now you're all welcome so today as you can probably tell by the title it's going to be a story time very crazy very interesting story time so without further ado let's get into the video so this story time is basically how i came from nigeria to study medicine in ghana honestly this story is so long so there'll probably be a part two of this video so let me start the story i'm already rambling okay so i'm going to start the story from beginning of senior school yes all my life i've always wanted to be a doctor i've always wanted to be a doctor i don't even know yes to save lives because i love advising people i just wanted to be a doctor until i entered ss1 so ss1 um we in our sets they started this thing that you do all the courses like you do art sciences and business so that you have a more um you make a more informed decision yes so we started it now so in ss1 i think we're doing was it 20 no i can't remember it was a whole lot of subjects maybe like 15 subjects we're doing and that's ss1 senior school so it was so much so i was doing business arts and sciences yes so after the first term yes the first term so yeah, i wanted to say semester but after the first term yes i just i don't know i stopped really liking i stopped feeling the medicine because i just felt that okay oh, this science subject is hard because chemistry and physics they came and gave me <laughs> they just hit me like i didn't even know what was coming for me so i was just like ah this is science Thing there. I don't know if it's still for me, but my mom just kept on encouraging me, like, no, you can't do it. It's not because of a little challenge that you just drop out or give up, that you should just continue. So I just then I finally decided to enter the science class because after the first term of doing all three, then you now choose. So I decided to enter the um science class, but oh, more things did not change. Oh. But as if they became worse self because like i just struggled so much especially physics and chemistry like i don't even know how many of you can relate to this but physics and chemistry gosh gave me so much stress and i just had to i had to put in a lot of extra work just push myself to the limit there were a lot of tears just just i didn't even know it was just very hmm, it was something else and that time self in my school a started from 96 so it and uh cut off mark that's the mark if you fail f9 starts from 60 on the dot so that's just to show you how hard my school was so i was just struggling i could just getting like 70 i don't even know it was just a big like it was just a struggle basically so i kept on struggling now uh, ss2 came i still did it so i still continue to but then and then ss3 i continued to but at the time of graduation the time where we're supposed to write our jam i started considering business courses because i enjoyed economics and i also offered a subject called marketing so it was really fun for me and i didn't have to drain myself before i could do well i did them with I wouldn't say ease but i would say relative ease yes i still had to put in effort but not as much as science subjects or not as much as how science subjects were draining me like for instance if i put in um the same amount of like if i put in how would i really say this english now if i put in 
so 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 amount of effort for if i like i work really hard for science subjects i wouldn't even get like a reasonable score but if it was for economics or marketing i could have done like so well like massively well so i was seeing more results there so i started considering and from time on when my auntie saw that i was struggling with the science subject she was just asking me that are you sure you will not change the business she kept on convincing me but then me i was just feeling like no this medicine was i was do it me feeling like ben casting that okay i was do she been casting struggled because i was struggle i didn't even know what was coming for me <laughs> so um that was it yeah. so by ss soon i started considering changing course like I was thinking of maybe studying economics in uni because I didn't want to carry that same struggle to the university. I just felt like it was just going to be so hectic and I don't want that for my uni life. So I was like, okay, I'll study economics. So in my mind, like I had already made up my mind that, okay, with this science thing, there's no how I can continue this kind of struggle in university like like it wouldn't even be possible because i just felt that i wouldn't have a balanced life so i just made up my mind to study economics yes so that's why i wrote economics and marketing in my wask and then for my utme utme is an exam that in nigeria we write to gain admission into nigerian universities so in my utme there are four subjects you're supposed to write english is a stamp subject meaning that english is a subject that everybody writes then you choose other th um, the other three based on the course you want to study so if for economics now i already knew i'll write english then i was now like okay economics for sure then there's now the remaining two that i had to think about and for most science and um, social science subjects they require math so i did math too and then the last subject was the one i was now thinking about whether i should do religious studies i didn't even know what to do because I, I just felt that the combination because most of the time the combination for all the social science subjects is math english economics then maybe geography or government and i didn't do any of that so i was just like okay i'll just do my biology I uh, take it or leave it. I don't even know. I just said I'm just going to do my biology. And in my school, they used to give marks, uh, not marks rather, they used to give awards to people that do well in UTME. So that was the aim. I was just like, okay, now that I have economics, that if I really push myself, I can actually get an award. So I now did my economics now and I got 302 in my first UTME. 302 not post utme so utme rather i got 302 over 400 so it was massive for me i was like wow i was so happy because <laughs> if you're in nigeria you know what jam is you know how jam can mess you up so when i got 302 and that was my first sitting it was mind-blowing it was like okay this is the scientist so you are made for this economics you're going to study this economics i was just elated and I actually eventually got an award so yay so my mind was already made up like nothing could and nothing in this world could change my mind and even as a graduation my mind wasn't even to study or rather i didn't plan to study in nigeria so that's post me not post why do i keep on saying post me that utme was to i wrote the utme just for option sake you know when to have many options if i eventually after everything if by mistake i end up in nigeria then it's still like i can still school here so that position was just in case of in case it is anyways yeah so my mind was like okay i want to study abroad so after graduation now me and my mom we started researching universities looking into canadian universities american universities all those Euro european universities looked into uk we didn't look much into uk because uk the money yeah. <laughs> the money to study in uk it's not even here like nah 
so we just cancelled that so it was basically us and canada so we're trying to get scholarships and everything so i think at that time the main focus was canada because us too they have their own the admission process is another is another thing so we didn't really focus on that a lot because we had limited time so by the time we applied to canadian universities it was a bit late not that i couldn't get admission it's just that i couldn't get admission with good scholarship so my mom was like okay chiso since we can't this admission thing isn't working out so well because i could get admission but not into the schools that i wanted i could get admission to reasonable schools but not into the schools of my church and i could also get scholarships so my mom was like okay chiso just chill now let's just take this one year let's take a year and then sort out these admissions and in my head i was just like ah because i used to tell my mom that mommy let's start this thing early let's start this thing early let's start i was saying i've I, I been disturbing her since but then i don't know <laughs> at the end of the day i should have to wait back one year stay back and then sort out my life and she was like okay this one year that you're waiting back I'm going to go to the University of Lagos, Mini Lag. And I was like, What? Ah, I was I was I wasn't even having it. Because the thing about Mini Lag is that when you plan to study abroad and then your parents now say, Okay, just enter Uni Lag for the meantime, the probability that you stay there is like ninety six percent. Like it's over because your parents are just like, okay, you have started now and everything is going well for you. So just finish. And I didn't want that. I was like, oh no, mommy, I don't. I really don't want to go. She was like, but she's so. You see everything that has happened. So just, just, just go. It wouldn't be bad. I'm promising you that you will not end up in uni. Like, I don't worry, you will end up there. So she was not like, and she just told me to go, and I said, I was so, and then I had no choice, I just had to go instead of just waiting at home. So I went to Unilag to do a diploma program. So I think I'll be ending the first part of the story time here. So stay tuned for part two and make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. I don't know, share your experiences and I'll see you in my next video. <gasps> Bye.